Hello everyone, back to into today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the spring bank holiday weekend for today's uh, first video. So our uh, next bank holiday, we've only just got the last one uh, out of the way, but our next bank holiday uh, is coming up on Monday, the 25th of May. It will be the spring uh, bank holiday or the late spring bank holiday or the weeks and bank holiday um various ways of describing it but it's coming up on the 25th of may and it'll actually be two weeks today that we shall have our next bank holiday money so uh, i did the first video for this on saturday and it's quite a cool and unsettled outlook in uh, saturday's first update we'll see what the gfs is showing um this morning uh for this bank holiday uh, and I'm going to get on, get on with that for you very shortly. Just say that the second video update will be your regular week's 10-day video update. That will have all of the usual features, including with it too. And tonight, it's going to be a blog update, which is the reason I'm doing this a bit earlier than normal. Normally, this video would be released around 7-ish tonight. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, doing a blog update tonight at gazweathers.com. And we're going to look at the ECMDS seasonal model. So uh, that should be quite an interesting read. That will be uh, a written um, blog update on the website for you this evening. Uh, right, so we're at uh, gov.uk and just confirming that uh, the next bank holiday in England and Wales is 25th May spring bank holiday. So let's have a look at what the GFS is showing uh, for this one. So uh, we begin on Friday this if we're only lockdown, this will be the day of the uh, getaway. Uh, but uh, I assume most people will still be uh, indoors, probably. But anyway, we're starting on Friday, 22nd of May. Low pressure to the north of Scotland. We pushed the weather front across the country in the hours before. That's clearing away into uh, the continent, taking a band of rain with it. And we're left with a showery westerly coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Our red temperatures are a bit cool in the far north, otherwise not too bad. There's that band of rain I was talking about. That's clearing off into the continent. And it's leaving us with quite a windy, showery sort of day. Uh, showers mostly in the northwest, very few in the east. Of course, this is a long way out, which is 276 hours away. So don't take the rain and shower areas too uh, literally. Um, we're just using model at the moment for trains. And then next week, we'll be able to start adding in like, like the detail for this. Uh, temperatures... Probably um, near normal, really, for most places. So we're sort of mid to upper teens. Uh, perhaps a little bit on the low side. But in the far southeast, it's suggesting 19 in London, which isn't too bad at all. You can normally add two or three degrees onto these uh, as well. So 21 uh, is possible there in London. Most places sort of upper teens, really. So, again, not too bad with the temperature. Maybe a little bit on the cool side, though, in the far north and west of the country. Moving through to Saturday, 23rd of May, so it's the first day of the uh, extended bank holiday weekend. Then the ridge of high pressure is building in from off the uh, Atlantic, so we're beginning to settle things down a little bit. At the same time, the upper air temperatures are lowering, though. They're easing down, um, and it is turning a little bit on the cool side, actually, in northern and western parts of the country. As the ridge builds in, obviously, there's a lot of dry weather associated with that, some showy rain in the north of the west but most places uh, looking dry and the temperature for a saturday 23rd of may again about average it's suggesting sort of mid-teens for most places so if you add a couple of degrees on that gets you to the upper teens in the far southeast it's going around 20 19 20 in london so uh, again add a couple of degrees on that gets you around 21 22 not too bad at all with the temperature for england wales it, again it's a little bit on the cool side though for scotland and for northern ireland then we move through to Sunday, so this is day two of the bank holiday weekend, Sunday the 24th of May, sees the Azores high of a ridge from the Azores high uh, extending further into the country and strengthening as well. This is settling things down, but also pulling in some cool air or upper air temperatures from the north. So the upper air temperatures are quite cool at this point, but of course, as we've got a ridge of high pressure building in, it is mostly dry uh, across nearly all parts of the country. Temperatures have lowered a bit. Uh, I'm probably a bit on the pessimistic side, I think, actually. So it's going for mid-teens quite widely. Again, I think with the strengthening uh, sun at this time of the year, sun getting ever stronger uh, and very high in the sky, long days, of course, I think you would easily get temperatures into the upper teens uh, with this scenario, despite the cool upper air temperatures. And I wouldn't rule out, like, 20 degrees, certainly. 
Um, and this is Bank Holiday Monday itself, and this looks really good, doesn't it? This is Monday the 25th of May. A large area of high pressure then is covering not just the UK, but much of the Atlantic and much of Northern Europe as well. The upper air temperatures, uh, they're still looking a little bit on the cool side. So that's the one consistent thing through this, that the upper air temperatures are a little bit on the lowly side, especially for northern parts of the country. But of course, under the high pressure, it's dry, fine conditions across all parts of the country. Be bad to sunshine uh, as well from dawn till dusk. And so the temperatures remain rather on the cool side and probably on the pessimistic side. Again, we're only talking about mid teens in most places, although we have got some parts of northwest England, North Wales kind of popping up to upper teens. But really, those temperatures look a little bit low to me uh, given, given the scenario. So, uh, given the high pressure uh, that's sitting not just over the UK but much of the Atlantic and uh, much west of Europe. I think you could lift temperatures with that to 20 degrees, despite the coolish of rare temperatures. I think with the sun sort of beating down from dawn till dusk, and uh, uh, and very strong as well, I think you could lift the temperature there to around 20 degrees quite easily, maybe even a little bit higher. So this is a much better update, though. I mean, all of that is like, uh, is like exact detail, and we firm on the detail next week anyway. But in terms of a broad setup, this is a much, much better update than update number one. It's much more anticyclonic, therefore it's a lot drier. And despite the upper air temperatures being a bit on the cool side, I think it will be significantly warmer than update number one as well. So uh, we haven't got a trend though. That's the other thing to say with this. We're looking for trends. We haven't yet got a trend for the bank holiday weekend, so more updates needed. Third update will probably be with you on uh, Wednesday. Get that done for you on Wednesday. Uh, so come back to that then. That's all for now though, and thanks for watching.